For the next couple of days, first of all, let me say hi. My name is Norman Johnson. I am a HVAC instructor. You can email me at associatedairgroup at gmail.com. And you can follow me on Twitter at HVAC underscore instructor. You can view my website at associatedairgroup.com. In the next few days, I am going to be covering what is called ARC 1020. ARC 1020 is Refrigeration System Components. It deals with the basic refrigeration cycle. It deals with the four major components of the refrigeration cycle. The four basic components of the refrigeration cycle is the compressor, the condenser, the metering device, and the evaporator. It is a continuous looping cycle. All refrigeration, air conditioning, or what we would call comfort cooling systems have these four major components. These four major components provide the removal of heat from the designated area, whether it is in a home, whether it is in an ice box, whether it is in a commercial building, or whether it is in your car. When you put your hand up to a vent and it's 90 degrees this summer, the first thing that you will notice is cold air coming out of the vents. It is just not the cold air coming out of the vents that we're concerned with. It's the removal of the heat that went into another vent and then came out of the vent that you have your hand to. The removal of heat. And not only do we want to remove heat, we also want to remove moisture. So in this class, 1020, those are the things that we'll be covering. We'll also be covering psychrometrics. Psychrometrics is a fancy word for saying the quality of the air. How much relative humidity is in the air? What is the wet bulb, the dry bulb, the grains per, per Per, the grains per uh, cubic foot, how much moisture is in the air, and what is comfort? Comfort is very, very broad because some people are more comfortable at a temperature than other people. And also, comfort depends on the air quality. Is the air moving? Has the air been filtered? Has the air been dehumidified? Because if it was 75, let's say 78 degrees in this room with the high humidity, it is still uncomfortable. You'll have a moist, damp feeling in the room. But if you kept the temperature the same and removed the moisture, it would be comfortable. Those are some of the basic things that we'll be covering in ARC. 1020 in the next five weeks.